public information for the first time. The evidence that investigators say links Richard Allen to the murders of Abby Williams and Libby German. WRTV's Nico Panisi spoke with experts about what documents released today can tell us about the future of the Delphi case. It almost left more questions than answers. The probable cause affidavit for the Delphi murder case is now available to the public. This comes after Special Judge Fran Gull overruled objections from the prosecutor's office and released the redacted version Tuesday. How much am I not getting here or how much have I not heard or is this what the state has? Criminal defense attorney Benjamin Jaffe says if it seems like pieces of information are left out, that could be intentional. As long as they put enough information in a probable cause affidavit, to validate the arrest and charges such that a judge will hold the person, uh, that they can meet that minimum threshold. Uh, they can choose to leave certain pieces of information out for public consumption. According to the court documents, investigators found a single unspent bullet near the bodies of Abby Williams and Libby German in 2017. Ejection marks on that bullet show it had been cycled through a handgun found in suspect Richard Allen's home. WRTV spoke with former FBI investigator Doug Coons about the information. The bullet puts him there. Um, he admitted that it was his gun, he's had it since 2001, and that he hasn't loaned it to anybody. So. Coon says it's important to remember the documents do not include the victim's cause of death. It, it's not saying that, that they were shot by, you know, the same kind of bullet that was matched to the same kind of gun. They're just saying this, this spent round was found there. So what comes next? Jaffe says from a defense attorney's perspective, there's going to be a strong effort to challenge the forensic evidence and witnesses' ability to identify Allen. Are there real faults in the way that this was pursued? Are there problems with the way these identifications are being made? You know, those are questions that have to be asked to really develop whether or not there's the ability to challenge this. Working for you, Nico Panisi, WRTV. The judge has yet to decide whether to issue a gag order in the case to prevent anyone involved from talking about it. Allen's attorneys also requested today that his trials be moved outside of Carroll County. Richard Allen is due in court on February 17th for a bail hearing. The hearing will determine if he can be released on bail or be given an outright release until his trial, which is scheduled for March 20th.